All right, guys, the first thing we do is, is hook up our uh, scanner. Now, I'm using the Actron. Usually, I would try to use the Autel AL539B, but the A Autel AL539B does not do ABS. So, I got to pull out my Actron. Let's get this hooked up under here. The diagnostic connector is up under the, st up under the dashboard to the right of the steering column. Got it. Well, I thought I had it. What the heck, man? This thing should come on. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's on. It's on. All right, so let's get this thing connected and let's pull the codes on this. We'll be right back. All right, guys, girls, check it out. C1330, open circuit and right front speed sensor circuit. All right, now for the next part, now I'm going to have to pull out the Autel AL539B because we want to check that and we want to, I'm going to show you how to graph a wheel speed sensor. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do, let's remove this wheel so we can get to the sensor, make sure all the wiring is good. Cause sometimes the wire can rub against the tire and mess that up. So we got five 21 millimeter or 13 16 nuts. And what we're gonna do, go ahead and buzz them off real quick. And take this tire off. Be right back. All right, here we go. This right wire right here, this is the wire going down to your ABS sensor. And the wire does look intact. Everything look good. Then we wanna go down here. To where the actual sensor is and that looks good everything looks good so now usually somebody would say um, you need a wheel speed sensor which sometimes it will come with the hub and everything and that but what we need to do now is graph because right now we got an open circuit that means the computer is not sensing this wheel turning so what we're gonna do let's see if we can stick up here we're gonna be looking to unplug this so we can graph this sensor to see if this sensor is actually doing its job. And it looks like it's going behind the fender well here. So uh, let's get some tools and we're going to loosen this up. We'll be right back. All right, we got two 10 millimeter bolts here. I got my 10 millimeter deep 3H drive. Let's take off one. Take off two. And what you want to do is notice that the one on the top is more like of a screw. And this one is like a bolt. So do not get them mixed up. Make sure they go just like that. Let's put them to the side. Let's see if we can pull this back and see that connector. Yeah, it's way up here. Can you see? Uh, that you might not be able to see. In fact, let me see if I can get up in there. You see that great connector right up there, guys? That's the connector we gotta disconnect. And it looks like it has a tab on the bottom, which I'm gonna squeeze in and unplug it. So, there you go. There we go. Now, an ABS sensor is AC voltage. Um, it, it works on AC, it regulates AC voltage. So that's what it works by. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna graph it from right here, this connector right here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna have Sylvia get inside the car, put the car in drive, and we're gonna see if we got a signal coming from this, from this wheel. We'll be right back. All right guys, here we go, let's do it. We got our Autel AL539B, which is going to use the graph. Now, I know a lot of people out there puts down the Autel AL530B. I guess the guys that really don't know and saying you can't. That, actually, people are saying it cannot graph a wheel speed sensor. So, we're about to prove you wrong. All right, first of all, we got our adapt, our test lead kit here. We've got to find out which one is uh, to match up to this connector up here. And it looks like it is the blue one. So, we get... We're going to get two of the blue ones. And what we're going to do is plug it one into there. And one.
one into there. All right, the next thing we're going to do, this kit also has these little metal adapters. Or pins, you want to call them. And we're going to connect one into there and one into there. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut on our auto. We want to go down to multimeter. And we want to go down so we can tell us AC voltage. And what we're going to be looking for is any kind of waveform pattern right inside that screen. If we don't get one, we know the wheel speed sensor, the hub, however they want to sell it, is no good. If we do get one, that means our problem is definitely someplace else. All right, so what we're going to do is set this up right here. And as you can see, we're going to hook this up, one right here, and one right here. And make sure you got to make sure they're not touching. And what are we going to do? Let me get, matter of fact, let me get this onto the side. Matter of fact, let's hold this over here. And get this. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to hold the camera. And Sylvia's going to get inside the car. Put it in drive. And we're going to see what we got. Alright, we'll be right back. All right, we're all ready to go. All right, start it up. All right, we got it connected. And we're looking, there's our screen right there. All right, put it in drive. Okay, let it spin. All right, there's our front wheel spinning. And if you look right there, look at that. We got a signal. So we know our sensor is good. There's no question about it. That's a perfect signal. There's no dropouts or anything. Because if we had a dropout, there'd be something with the wheel going on the uh, ring around the axle. So we are definitely good there. So we're going to disconnect this. And we're going to... Hey! <laughs> and we're going to find out, see if we're going to check something else. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we know right now our wheel speed sensor is good. Yeah, buddy. All right, so what we need to do is follow this wiring harness back and see what the heck going on. And hopefully we don't have a bad computer or anything like that. So let's get our this, this disconnected here. And what I need to do is see. Ah, this ain't going to work. You know, guys, let me see. Let's just hold on here. Okay, looks like we got two bolts up under here. Let's get on the other side of the way. Okay, I feel it. Okay, another 10 millimeter screw. And then we got one right there. All right, let's try to get this thing out of the way. And now you can see it. Actually, if you can see it a little better, you can see in there. I need mm -hmm. to get the light. Yeah. There's the plug. Here's the plug for the ABS. You got that? Yeah. Let's follow this down. Wait a minute. What the heck? Look at this, guys. How the heck did this happen? This, this is the wiring going to that wheel speed sensor. It's, it's actually broke. How did that happen? I have no idea but what we need to do now let's get us a razor blade wow let's get us a razor blade cut this sheathing back back here and actually look at that that, that the pink one was about to break too so we're going to try to fix it we might have to extend no that's enough wiring here i don't know what the heck happened but uh let's get a razor blade and look see what's investigate this further we'll be right back all right guys i got a little razor blade here and what I want to do, I want to, I want to open this up right here. Let's see if I can get a better look at, yeah, that pink one just, 
All right, here we go. We got our two wires right there. Let's uh, cut this back a little bit. Get out. So we can expose our wiring harness over here. And it's weird how the other wires are, are perfect. Nothing's wrong with them. And there's our two right there. Wow, man, look at that. So what we're gonna do guys here, we're gonna what we're gonna do, get us two solderless connectors and connect these back. And let's see, oh yeah, we got way more than enough room here. Get this out of here. I'm gonna get them all over here. It's gonna be a tight area, but we can definitely do it. Alright, and actually, actually these wires are so thin. And take my finger <laughs> and pull the sheathing back on them. This one. Oh, maybe not. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know we were going. All right, guys, check it out. I spliced back the wires, and these wires are so thin, and I'm using my solderless connectors here, and these things are the smallest ones I got. So what I did, check this out, and this is a good little trick. You wanna splice it back enough, fold it. So in that way, you got it thick enough there where this thing will hold that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get the hardest ones to do first. And I'm gonna show you a little trick what I do. What I do is get my tool ready, Put that on. Stick the wire in there. And squeeze. So I know exactly where I'm at. And I want to make you gonna make sure you squeeze this thing tight. Look at that. Yeah boy. Alright, let's get our next one. Set it up. And you know the metal part in that ring is further back. If you can see this. So you want to make sure you don't put it up here. You want to make sure you're down there. Right where that ring begins at. That metal part. Alright. Let's get over here. Let's get this one in there. Make sure it's all the way in. Squeeze it. Make it real tight. Done. Now we're gonna connect the other two right up there. We'll be right back. All right, guys, look at that. That job is perfect. Yeah, buddy. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna pull this back a little bit more. We're gonna get us some electrical tape. We wanna tape all this up good because you don't want to make sure no moisture gets down in between there or cause some corrosion for you. So we're gonna pull that back. Let's get some electrical tape and tape that up. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got that taped up. It looked good. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our covering. I can see it. Where's huh? the tape? Right here. Okay. All right, then so it's okay to tape both wires together? Yep. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead back here now and get all this covering back on it. And we'll be right back. All right, guys, look at that. We got that thing looking good. Last but not least, we're going to take our electrical tape. And we're going to wrap it up. And wrap up back here, too. Get all our harness back together. All right? We'll be right back. All right, guys, that looks good. That looks better than manufacturer specs. Yeah. Okay, let's get our wheel well cover back in. And get this thing bolted. Put the bolts back in. Get this thing bolted back up. Oh, look at this over here. What is this? Looks like this screw's supposed to be inside there. Oh, man. Oh, well. Let me get those other screws in. All right, guys. We'll be right back. All right, guys. You know what? I forgot. <laughs> I'm getting ready to hook this all up. 
while we got it apart while I'm up here, let's hook back up our weed spill sensor. And we'd have another code right in there. Can you see in there? Mm-hmm. All right, now let's bolt this all back up. We'll be right back. 